Well, Mavs head coach Rick Carlisle is known for his command of X's and O's. And he demands the same from his players. He tests them with tablets. They're shown a clip, it freezes, and then they're asked what they should do next. Zaza Pachulia said, I was like, come on, a test? I did this in school, but not in basketball. But it works. You take the tests, and you start to remember things better. Kevin? Right into the playoffs. I would think for a player and for a team, peaking at the right time is the most difficult thing to accomplish. Yeah, sometimes you get off to a great start, you say. Dallas is gone, just one of four from three-point range here in the first. Maria, the pass to Nowitzki. Johnson with some nice D. Tell you what, the defense got lucky there because you know he can hit it from mid-range. Lee kicks to Young. He nails it. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Young with no one around. That was enough spins in for Derek Favors. And it's Burks in for Gordon Hayward. And Dallas with a change here, too. Curry's checked in. Young dishes to Johnson. Knocked away. Lee passes to Johnson. And Young, here we go. Dion. And he gets that one. He did. That's a superb boss pass to get his teammate a good look. And Young kicks to Johnson. Lee outside. Dion dishes to Lee. Johnson to screen. Here's Young. And Utah again with the bucket. 40% of the starting roster of the Warriors, who won break 73 games a season ago. Crazy. I mean, Dallas has always been in the business of reloading instead of rebuilding. And probably the best way to reload is to get players from one of the best teams in our league, as they did with Barnes and Bogut. Dallas missed on some other field and targets, but they did well for themselves this past offseason. Mavericks trail by three. Correa, the pass to Harris. Correa kicks to Curry. Back to Berea. Dallas moving the ball around. Here's Mesri. And off the basket, he was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. Yeah, heard the whistle. And, and the go-ahead bucket, no good. Surprising. He usually puts the dagger in your heart. That wide open from three. And a wide open look for Lee. The offensive rebound. Here's Johnson. Styles bringing in new players. Also having guys that were number one option, getting them to buy in, to come off the bench sometime, play lesser minutes. And then you have a guy like Steve Kerr. And then also one of my all-time favorites is Doc Rivers. Just a guy who has a great wearing two hats. I mean, they're the president or GM, also coaching. So they're doing totally different jobs than the coaches back in the day. And the basket by I Love how he used his height advantage on that shot. He also, for a big guy, has a terrific touch from that range. Exum kicks to Burks. And that comes off the assist by Higher from deep. You usually just assume is going in. Very dangerous from outside. Lee is screen on Berea. Exum kicks to Diaw. Burks in the corner. Fires from 14. A second chance effort. Misses at the rim. Trainers help the players endure the physical. So Utah ends up going with a new group. And then for Dallas. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Bogut. Harris comes in for Seth Curry. And it's I'm Williams Prez, in for J.J. And Beret. I approve that steal. Williams. And it's Mejri in at the five. Williams kicks to Nowitzki. Feeds it to Harris. And the ball goes out of bounds. He's making winning plays. It's as simple as that. Not a star player per se, but he makes his presence felt. And he gets it to go. He's doing a good job. Thanks, D.A. He's a presence. And Diaw kicks to Lee. To the middle. And there's Joe Johnson on these. Rebound, Utah. The last game, a win against San Antonio, looking to carry that into this one. And they ran their offense nearly to perfection in that one. For two at the line. Barnes is just such a tough cover. He has the ability to play both four positions. No good from Lee. And with the defense disrespecting him there, that's a shot he needs to make. Berea kicks to Harris.
drop shot. He with the block. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Diaw's running. Hill has the open look. Nice spin off the left rim and in. 141 left to play here in the half. Berea against Hill. Here's Harris. And they really haven't been able to get into any kind of an offensive flow this quarter. On the wing, Lee. Bangs home the trifecta. Lee's got his first three points of the game. There are many heartbreaking stories in the NBA, but Prez's is right up there. Lost his father, a former police officer, in a car accident at age 14. Just a tragedy to befall Prez and his family. And it's why he's so close to his mom now. But Prez loved his dad, and a lot of how he plays and acts is in honor of his memory. I know if his father were alive today, he'd be... And that one misses. And the Utah Jazz, with all their young talent, a team that's been on the cusp in the Western Conference. Barnes. Nowitzki outside. Gobert with the block. You really have to be careful with Gobert lurking around. He'll send it back. Johnson kicks to Hill. So he gets the... No good on the second free throw. George Hill, you know he's one of the more versatile guards we have in the game. He can defend ones or twos. One of those players who can fit in on any team. Kevin, thanks. Joined by Coach Quinn Snyder. Quinn, your team is competing at a very high level. What do you think that's happening? Well, you know, we're trying to defend. And, uh, you know, we've been a little bit fortunate, too. They've missed some shots. But, you know, more than anything, we just want to try to guard and make it hard on them. Got to make them feel good. Thanks, Quinn. Back to you, Kevin. It's been a one-sided affair so far through the first two quarters, but... So Utah going with an almost entirely new group here. And he's checked in for Rudy Gobert. Alec Burks comes in for Gordon Hayward. Lee's checked in for Rodney Hood. Young is subbed in for Hill. And then for Dallas. Measury, he's checked in for Bogut. Against the Rockets in the last game they played. And one of the factors, Kevin, that really hurt them in that game, the lack of success at the foul line. We all know how much those free throw woes can cost you. Yeah, they really cost themselves there for sure. You have to make those shots. You just have to. That bucket in in no time at all. Burks has got five. Mavericks trail by 20. Berea kicks to Barnes. There's a screen. And here's Matthews from the arc. They get the rebound. Obviously, this has been a tough quarter for him, but he's still trying to keep a positive mindset. Here's Lee. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Steve, you grew up in Detroit and came into a league right after the bad boy Pistons had won back-to-back -back titles with their hard-nosed style of basketball. Do you miss that more physical brand of basketball yeah i do being a detroiter growing up watching the bad boys from outside off the mark jazz leading by 19 points johnson kicks to young there's lee with the three hits the three point five lee's got five points inside 11 feet away good on the shot there's 154 left here in the third quarter Favors and Derek Favors with the slam. Favors dishes to Lee. Young in the corner. Six to shoot. And again, it's Utah. Taking good shots Woo! overall. There's 37 seconds left in the third quarter. And here's Young from the arc. That's number nine to fall. He's only taken ten shots. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Trains the three-point. Barnes kicks to Berea. Young with the steal. A shot. No good. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Utah out in front, running away with this one. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Salt Lake City. Bogut out there with Nowitzki, and it's Barnes and at the small forward. 
excellent work there in transition. Playing out. You know, I like it, Kevin. The only part I have a problem with is, is how much time is taken. I think they can get to answer stories for every NBA player, Smitty, as to how they got involved in the sport. How did you begin playing basketball? You know, my dad built a basketball court in the backyard, and that's the way I first started. 39% from the field struggling to find that net. No problems knocking that one down. 26 points for Barnes. He smiles on these catch-and-shoot opportunities. Barnes very comfortable as a secondary scorer. Now, here's Levins. He's guarded closely. Down low, Lee. The Lee pass was put in just the right spot. And an open well done, path man. to the blowout. A dominating performance for the Jazz. This was a team performing to its uh, fullest capability. Uh, a, a hugely satisfying win. A, a, a game that not many will soon forget. And on the other side, one that I think most will try to forget. And ever win important. And this one will go down as win number three. Outside Curry. Gibson setting a pick for Curry. Shoots from the line, and he hits the jump shot. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans <laughs> appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, guys. Gordon, nice win for you guys tonight. What was the difference? Energy. I think we play with a lot of energy, passion, especially defensively. You know, when we're all doing our job and we're playing and we're focused and we're solid defensively, we're not really having lapses, we can be a pretty good team. You know, that we don't have to walk the ball up the court and it's not as difficult on our offense. So it all starts defensively and I think it all starts with energy down there. You've become all right, David. Thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. See you next time.